Hey guys, it's me, young Leo here. Hey, 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 hey. Kind of a surprise, right? Uh, I know I haven't uh, post uh, anything, any video about my 98 Eclipse, Mitsubishi Eclipse uh, car for a while. And uh, hello, all my uh, my fans on YouTube. Um, my followers on Facebook. If I uh, if I haven't posted anything on Facebook about my car yet, uh, I think I will probably uh, post uh, some of the video about my car about cars on Facebook uh, soon. So uh, uh, I I think I'm going to start posting <coughs> everything about my car uh, on Facebook because. Uh, I haven't only post uh, videos about my cars on YouTube uh, for the whole time, but uh, I haven't post any video on Facebook uh, since I start working on cars. So I, I'm uh, I'm soon doing that. I'm going to do that soon. And uh, hey, for all of you followers, all of you fans um, on my YouTube, um, thanks. Uh, for watching all my videos uh, during the past, like especially the video about my cars, I have a lot of uh, sub and, and subscribe and uh, views, likes um, on videos that I made about when I fix my car, when I work on my cars, especially this one, uh, when I was rebuilding the engine and all that. Um, this car has given me, you know, hard time. Uh, as some of you guys already know, um, I bought the car for cheap, like it wasn't running and I rebuilt the engine. It took me like years to rebuild it because I was too busy working, do all kind of things. And my people is kind of, you know, they kind of, uh, didn't really, they didn't really liked the fact that I work on it and parked it for so long and uh, but you know it's my work and I'm, I'm the one who doing it so they you know they, they're not the one who doing it so I don't care what they say I'm just doing what I want to do what I like to do um, with cars is my hobby is my passion so you know I just don't don't care what other people say I got I've got a, like many, like some people, I have some people like come to my house or come to me and say, you know, why you got so many cars? You know, you should sell all of them, you know, why, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's my problem, you know. I got so many cars because I end up having too many cars at once and I wasn't thinking right, yes. So I really do want to get rid of all of them you know, it's not like I don't want to get rid of them, but it's not easy to get rid of them <clears throat> unless I, I told them for junk and they don't cost you that much if you junk the car. And I got three cars and I really don't want to tow it, junk it because, you know, I still wanted to work on it. Um, and I don't want to sell the junk for like $200 or so, you know, if, if I had to junk it, I'll, I'll junk it myself. I'll take all the parts out, you know, and then cut all the body parts and then just you know, tow it to the the savage yard or a metal place or whatever, uh, scrap yard, you know, I'd rather do that by myself, you know, and I, I can earn some money on that too, instead of like letting the pull apart or, you know, the junk yard to tow it away or someone uh, do, you know, someone who tow car, they only pay me like a hundred or two or three at the most. I don't think you can get, uh, you can, you can uh, get junk like 300 or more off of this car you know I don't think no one want to pay four or five hundred for for a junk car anyway so uh, and I'm trying to get the most out of it I'm trying to get if I have the junk is someone gonna buy it or so I wanted to sell it for like at least four or five hundred dollars you know or even more I, I, I mean I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about posing on crackless or posing on sale like this uh, when it's not <clears throat> drivable kind of like you know uh a junk but you know i got some parts in it so i'll probably junk it for like five six hundred dollar i'm trying to get like a thousand dollar you know off of this whole car like everything is in there and 
I got extra part and all that. I'm trying to get a thousand dollar, a thousand dollar, but I doubt it. I did list on Craigslist for like <clears throat> twelve hundred, but I'm thinking I, I'm gonna have to lower that down. So uh, today I'm making a video, officially making a video uh, with a conclusion what I wanted to do and what I've done already. So I just told you that uh, um, I check everything I diagnose and you know. I can't get it to run. I can't get it to start because it's, it, it's, it could be a major problem like into a transmission or engine. Um, but it could be anything. It could be something small too, like a, a fuel filter or fuel point pump, you know, things like that that goes out. Like a starter goes out or an alternator goes out because um, today I just recently came down had the time to come down, got my jack. Um, well, let me talk a little bit about, uh, I just posted on Craigslist, okay? Um, I post on Craigslist for sale for like 1200 like maybe a few days ago. I know I should have done this like months ago or whatever, but I just got the chance to write all that to post on Craigslist. There's a lot of information when I have to take picture and, and, and post it on the Craigslist. But I eventually I did it. Uh, I posted on Craigslist like two days ago or so, and I wrote everything and I sell. I put it for sale for like 1,200, and I think I need to lower that down like today to like 1,000 or 800 or so, so I can sell it faster. Um, but I think someone gonna offer like around 500 or 600 at the most. I think. But uh, at this point, conclusion is. That's what I'm doing, and that's how I'm thinking I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to let it go, or someone, or at the worst, I'm going to have to call the junk jar, or I'm calling uh, some of my uh, mechanic friends that I know. Uh, these are my people, okay? Not, not, the, not the wow, you know, not the, not the, the, the street Mexican uh, uh, mechanic that I that I hired before and they ruined my engine. I think I think they ruined my engine for the most, for the most part, okay? And I've already made videos pointing out how they ruined it, okay? Now, when this is coming to conclusion, this is coming to like the engine problem is, is their fault to blame, okay? I'm blaming them. And, and, and it's just normal to how I blame it because they did it, okay? They're the one who ruined my engine and my transmission. They didn't install my clutch right. If my engine would be ruined right now, and I'll tell you what happened, why it's ruined, okay, at this point, I think it's ruined because um, earlier today, uh, I decided to come down here and, 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 and finally raise up my car to, uh, as you guys already see, uh, to check to spin the engine, see if it's spinning, okay? So what I did here was, I got my jack down and it's not easy to get it down either. I gotta get the the truck, the little thing to pull it down, you know, from my hill. And it's not easy to work down here. I really hated to work down here, but I have to, uh, because the car has already been uh, broke down and it's been towed down here. So, you know, I, I gotta get my big jack right here, put it down take it down here and then uh, I took out the tire you guys already see I took out uh, the OZ rim tire uh, I took it off and uh, well I had to jack it up first I used the small jack after I got the big jack right here to jack it up let me show you how I did it uh, and all that too okay might as well um, so I put the small jack like that and then I put another jack right there and I'm just gonna put the jack to hold it on one side only because I'm I only need to take out the tire so I can check the the pulley the the crank pulley see if it's really spinning okay and I'm using this cheetah ball right here however you want to call it and uh, these are the tools that I took out the tires and uh, so I didn't have to race on the other side I was going to raise the other side, but I thought about it, you know, it's making no sense if I need to raise on that side unless like I'm draining some fluid or whatever. And I, I decided not to drain any fluid yet because I'm pretty positive sure that 
my engine, the engine or the clutch or the transmission is is it's freeze, it's stuck, okay? It's locked. I think at this point it's locked. And I had to I took out the battery so you can, you know, this plate right here, the battery plates, so you can see it. I was trying to check the transmission um, oil fluid, but it's just you know, it's too hard to check up here because I got to take this out and taking this bracket out is, is, is not easy. And you can't hardly ever even see it down there. The transmission uh, fluid, uh, you know, refuel and all that is right there, down there. And, and you ha I hardly can ever reach down there, you know, unless I have to go down here. I have to jack over here up this side so I can check it. But at this point, I don't even want to check it at all. And I don't, I surely don't want to check, um, I don't want to check the engine oil either. Although I heard people say, check the engine oil, <clears throat> see if you have any shave or any cracking uh, for the bearings that crack, then that's indicating the, the crank, um, the crank uh, bearing, uh, you know, the, the, the engine block is, is broke down there. But, uh. I'm, I'm just pretty sure right now it's either that's broken or the transmission or the clutch is stuck. Okay, the transmission is broke or the, you know, or the, the clutch is stuck. By me doing this, I'll show you guys what I did. I got a cheetah bar and I got me uh, a 19 millimeter socket. Okay, one half 19 millimeter socket. Okay. Put it onto a crank pulley bolt. That's a crank pulley bolt, okay? I didn't have to take out the shoe because I was thinking about taking out the shoe because, you know, I was like, it's blocking my pulley, but look at it. It's okay. I can check my pulley, see if it's been or not. By that, they got the hole right there, so I can just do it like this. I don't have to take out anything, you know? So if you guys don't know, that's how you do it. You don't really have to take out this uh, mud shoe cover or engine shoe cover, okay? So I decided to come down here to check and see if the pulley is spinning because that's how you find out if your engine is still running or not, it's still working or not, by going down here and um, put a socket onto uh, the pulley, the crank pulley bolts right there and try to turn it. And it's not even turned anyway. If I turn it like counterclockwise, but I mean, supposedly turning clockwise, let me push it down clockwise and it's stuck okay it's hard as a rock okay it's just gonna tighten the bolts that's it that that's all it does it just tighten the bolt when I when I <clears throat> turn it try to turn it clockwise okay now when I turn it counterclockwise the bolts seem to lose so it's not spinning at all okay my the, the crank pulley is not spinning either way so at this point I know the engine is seized. The engine is locked. All right, guys. The engine on my trim, on my, on my cars, like the timings, the timing belts and all that is not moving. Okay. So I'm thinking I have a engine lock. It's seized because one of the thing on in there is broken. Like could be the. It could, be, it could be the valve that's cracking and I have I have not taken out off this yet either uh, the valve cover I haven't taken it off and to check it and I haven't go down there to flush any oil or anything so I don't really know if a bearings any bearings under the block is broken or not and I have not take out the transmission off of the engine to check uh, on on the clutch see if it's you know see if the clutch is is broken or is out of alignment or whatever and i have not taken out the starter either to see the starter might be stuck with the clutch okay you don't even know i don't even know and i have not take out the transmission to check on the transmission see if it, any gears uh breaking or whatever you know so at this point i have not have any time to do any of those i think i wanted to but I just, I mean, I want to do it, but I just don't have the time to do it. So, <clears throat> uh, so I'm pretty sure it's either my transmission is breaking gears because of the, <clears throat> because I dropped the uh, speed sensor, the speed sensor on the transmission. I dropped it down, uh, 
Yeah, I dropped the, I dropped the, the the little head spin of the speed sensor. I didn't drop the whole speed sensor, but I dropped the <clears throat> the one the the thing that below it. That I already have a video showing you guys what I dropped. So if you want to check out that videos, I got that video too. Just gotta go look for it. VSS speed sensor uh, transmission uh vehicle speed sensor uh i got a couple of videos talk about that when i drop it so i think i dropped that that's why it's ruining my transmission gear right now so worse and worse i might have if i need if i'm going to re rebuild it or fix it i'm gonna have to probably uh buy me a new transmission okay <laughs> and another thing is it could be the the starter that stuck with the clutch and the clutch could be out of alignment too so you know that will be a little bit cheaper like it, it won't cost much and it could be the alternator if it's just the alternator it'll be real cheap okay it'll be like around hundred dollars and and I'm not gonna do any of those so I'm, I'm tired of it I'm, I'm giving up guys like really cuz I, I I'm, not, I'm not I'm not trying to put any more time on this 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 whack engine anymore this 420a engine okay like everyone else been saying about 420a engine they suck i don't know why i got this car at the first place i guess because it's darn cheap and it has like body kits and all that and i just you know want to bring it home to fix it up but i didn't thought about it this is this is a crappy engine 420a no one likes it they want everyone likes the turbo engine, the the GST, you know, the 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 4G63, you know, everyone wants that engine, the 4G63 uh, turbo engine um, model Eclipse. But I didn't get, I didn't got that engine, so ending up with this engine, and uh, it's it's not the battery either, cause I got a I bought another battery after that, and it won't even work either. I mean, I think the engine is seized because when I turn the key, it's trying to crank, but it's turning real slow, and it's like, eh, like something holding it back from cranking. Okay, and I hear some starter clicking and all that too. I hear starter click once when I turn it, and the engine's trying to turn like slightly it's, it was slightly turning like something holding it back and it, it won't turn because of that so something in there is cracking something is there is, is breaking something in the in there is is, is locking up is seizing so so as far as now as i know is my engine is seized up it's locked as far as i know okay i check all the electrical wires i check all that continuing i check I mean, you name it. I, I kind of check all everything already. I check the distributor, see, coil, see if you have power. I check. I even check the spark plugs and all that. I just have not take out the valve cover to see anything cracking or breaking, and I have not take out the, the timing cover to see and check. I have not take anything losing the oil pan under the check see if it's any gears cracking or whatever. I'm going to let the mechanic do that. And I come out with a conclusion. Um, also, I mean, I check all the fuse and all that inside fuse too. I mean, I check all continuity. Uh, check all the sensor up here. I mean, most of them are work pretty much working. You know, nothing seems like it's not working. The only thing that seems like is is making it break down, broken down is was that. Uh, the EGR gasket. Remember, I, I got a video about that too. That I blamed the the street mechanic about the EGR gasket. That they installed my EGR gasket. They didn't install it right because the EGR gasket would was like halfway out. Okay, so it's blocking the the passage hole of the EGR system. That's why it's making my engine like weaking the whole time, and it's causing the break in. Is causing the breaking okay so I'm blaming them for that too that's that's the two main reason that I blame them for that they didn't do it right you know they ruined my engine and guys remember don't ever 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 you know this is my experience don't ever hire or let any street mechanic work on your cars or engine okay if they if they if they not spec specify for working on engine 
they're gonna rule your engine. They can't they can't fix it. If they just a tall person or whatever, and they say they know someone who fix your engine, no, don't don't listen to them because most of the time they're the same team. Okay, they're the same people. They just lie for a living. They lie so they can can fix your engine for a living, and they they didn't do a good job. They they fucked it. They messed it up. Okay, sorry, gotta you know use profanity word, but they just effed up my my engine. Really, really, from 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 the inside out, like the whole engine, like especially the engine. They messed it up. They didn't really touch anything inside it, like interior of my car, or whatever. But especially on the engine, they effed it up. They ruined it. Okay, so remember, guys, don't ever hire any street mechanic to work on your car engine. Okay, you don't touch any of them. Okay, rather go find a spec specialized mechanic, a specialist mechanic who specializes working on engine. Okay, on car engine. And that's my last uh, suggestion for all of you guys out there, all you people out there. And so, um, so so far I checked all the sensor. I mean, everything seems like it's working, but. Uh, but it's it's gotta be it's gotta be uh, a seized lock engine because when I when I um, experience the breakdown, I hear like crackling. You know, I hear like something breaking, cracking inside the transmission or the engine or the block. You know, something is cracking, breaking. When I got the, when I was uh, doing the breakdown on the road, that's what I uh, experienced. That's what I hear before the breakdown, before really the the the, the main breakdown because. The cracking thing been going on for like a, a, a mile or two uh, before it break down. So that's what I hear. That's what I hear before the breakdown. So it's got to be the, the transmissions breaking, some gear breaking inside, or the flywheel is stucking with the starter, or the engine block is breaking something, breaking uh, inside, like like uh, like the main bearings breaking or something's breaking in there, you know? Or the top engine, like the valves breaking or whatever. I mean, I, I just know for sure, for a fact that um, that uh, I have an engine lock, okay? Engine seized, seized up. So, uh, so the next thing I'm planning to do is, <sighs> I'm going to leave it like this or I might not drop it down and just wait for tomorrow morning and call my mechanic, like my friend's mechanic. This is my my people friend's mechanic, okay? These these mechanic, they got their own shop. They got a a, a, a big shop on a big street, okay? And and it's it's nearby my, my house. It's like it's it's on South Boulevard, nearby South Boulevard and uh, it's about fifteen minutes away from where I live. And I can just catch the transportation buzz whenever I, uh, whenever they fix it, I can just come and look at it or check it out or work on my cars if I can. Um, but I'm gonna call them tomorrow. <coughs> I'm gonna call them tomorrow to actually ask them to see what, what, you know, what they can do. Um, I would not tell them what happened. Was I would not tell them like I didn't check the the oil pan oil see if anything um, breaking but I'm, I'm gonna have to tell them you know I already checked nothing underneath them <coughs> and and I'm, I'm just gonna tell them like <coughs> I'm not gonna tell them the whole story see if they can figure it out by themselves I'm just gonna say I have a this car one day um, it didn't start up okay and if they ask more questions then I, I'm probably gonna have to tell them you know um, one day I drove down the street and it broke down. I can't, I can't start it up again. But I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tell them, you know, what happened was, one day I started and it won't crank. And I've already checked everything. I'm gonna tell them I'm gonna, I, I, I'm gonna straight up tell them like I kind of like diagnose and check everything. Nothing seems to be the problem, and it might be the fuel filter or the fuel pump that's causing that but you can't lie about that because they can check it and and you know when i check it i hear the fuel pump pumping so when they check it they're gonna say the fuel pump is good okay 
so we can't really lie about that. Um, what I can what I can say is that can you check my electrical? So might be the electrical problem, okay? Uh, and I'm gonna tell them I already checked the electrical. Uh, I'm gonna tell them worst and worst case. I'm gonna tell them about the EGR. The street mechanic did to my car was half of the gasket was like that. So that's why it's probably you know making the car weak over day and it's breaking down. That'll be an easy fix. That'll be cheaply fixed. But if they diagnose and they come down to a conclusion, they do a deep diagnose, they, they probably find out that my engine is seized up anyway. So th at that point, you know, lastly, I'm going to say, you know, and then I, uh, I, I jack up my car and check, uh, check the crank pulley and it's not turning. So by then, they'll know this, the engine is seized up. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm not going to tell them the problem right away. I'm going to talk with them and see if they can find out the problem by doing diagnostic. And I'm trying to have them coming over here. I'm going to call them and ask them if, if, if he can send one of his mechanic because he know my people, like the owner. The owner of the shop know my people. And he gonna, I'm going to ask them to see if he can send a mechanic here to do an overall check because I already got, I already got the ties up here. You know, so he can come over and check. They can come over and check, check the whole engine. At last point, at last point, then I'll point out. You know, I uh, I check the engine, um, check the the crank pulley, and and it's hard, so it sees. So that's the last thing I'm going to point to them. So I might I might put my tie back on, but uh, you know, you know what I'm saying. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ask them a question like step by step i'm not gonna go into into like i already checked everything and all that and this is my last thing is i check the engine is seized up but if they're a good mechanic they'll find out you know the engine is seized up at the end anyway so uh and i hope it's not just the engine i hope the engine is not seized up i hope he got he can do something to freeze the engine you know by losing the valve cover to see if any valves breaking or uh, the oil pan, take it down, see if anything breaking, and he can just fix it right here instead of like he have to tow it to a shop. I don't want to tow it to a shop because it's gonna be costly. Okay, it's gonna be costly, and and I'm and I I know it's gonna end up going to a shop anyway if if it's like a seized engine, you know, um, or if it's like a <clears throat> if it's like a uh, if it's if the the flywheel is stuck or whatever, um, they, they they probably gonna have to tow the car because you know you can't do out the street like this. Um, you know if 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 he had to change the clutch or change the transmission, uh, they probably wanted to tow it to the shop and it costs around eighty to a hundred dollars to tow it. I'm trying not to spend all those money, you know. Um, if he if he tell me the real problem, like you know your transmission go out or your your clutch go out or one of your bearings is breaking, or one of your valves is breaking, or something, then, then he'll tell me right away, then, then he'll, he'll ask me, they'll ask me if I wanted to fix it or not, you know, and see if they can, I'm trying to buy my best to see if they can fix it here. If not, they're going to say, uh, we can't do it here, we're going to have to tow it to my shop, do you want to do it or not, it's going to cost you that much, that much, then I'm going to decide to see what I'm going to do. If it's too much, I'm not thinking about doing it. I'm, I'm gonna ask them to a, a different point, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna start talking about uh, junking it. You know, I'm gonna start talking about I have another car as well, like my convertible Mitsubishi Eclipse. I'm gonna ask them if I can junk these two cars or, or, or give you this one, and then you can fix my other uh, convertible Eclipse. You know, so I don't have to pay much. You know. So meanwhile, I can I can ask him to, to fix two cars at once, you know, so I can go ahead and get rid of both of them as soon as possible. And if I ever have to jump this car, I'm going to ask him to keep my OZ racing rims. So they're going to, you know, do something about it, put another rims on when they, when they uh, junk it or whatever, or they can just, you know, junk it there without the, they can take it to a tow truck without the, the the rims because I need the rims and I hope they can do that too if I have to junk it um, 
and I'm gonna ask if they, and I'm, I'm gonna ask if if this car been junk and they can't fix it over there I'm gonna ask them to see if I can take all my stuff out before they tow it to a junk yard or whatever but I doubt they want me to do that because I'm gonna have to end up working on their area uh, on their shop and I don't think most shops likes that um, and they just want to junk the whole thing you know body kits and all that I'm just trying to keep the body kits the rims and uh, if I really have to junk it if they're gonna if they just gonna sell like um, uh, if they just gonna sell like uh, metal I'm, I'm gonna I'm trying to take all the engine part out as, as much as possible and uh, taking the seats out or whatever, or whatever you know I wanted to take out uh, that wings too the spoiler because cause that's that's not gonna be much junk, you know. It's not gonna be much metal. The the whole metal thing is is the whole body of the shell, the shell, you know, the whole body of the car. That's what metal is. I don't think the body kit will matters. You know, I might have to end up taking all the body kits out, and I'm I'm gonna have to talk with them before they even tow it and see what they what what they're gonna decide to do uh, at that point. You know, before they even tow it. So. I'm gonna ask them before they tow it, you know, see if they allow me to do that first before I, you know, before they tow it to, uh, tow the car to the shop. So I'm gonna ask them all that question, all those, like, you know, what if I have to junk it, you know? Um, is it better for me to junk it or you got junk it? How much you got to pay for buying my junk car, you know? Things like that. If I ever have to come out to that conclusion to the end of, the wall <laughs> you know that's the last thing i would ask them <clears throat> gotta be smart gotta you know think ahead um you know i want to take as much advantage as possible like what i can do the best you know like if i can't fix it how how would i fix it first and then if i can't really fix the engine or whatever they can't do anything about it or they decide to not working on it then I'll probably ask them to junk it. If they junk it, they pay me like $200 or $100. That's too cheap, you know. I'm just going to chunk junk it by myself. I'm gonna, just going to take out all the parts and then cut it. I'm going to end up cutting it and, and, and hire like a U-Haul truck and tow all the metal part to a scrap yard part, you know, and sell it like that. That's what my plan is. That's what I'm thinking about doing it so I can save some money too, you know, because all this metal would be costly, you know. All this metal is it costs at least two hundred when I cut it and junk it. If if they buy if they buy this junk car if they buy the, you know a junk car like this one if that if they come over and they say they'll tow and buy it for like four hundred dollar or three hundred dollar I might do it you know and I I know like two people who do the towing and I'm not talking about street mechanic that tows car okay because they I mean that's what happened to me before. You know, I know a a, a a tow truck mechanic guy. He's just a tow man, you know, and ending up like this. Horrible. What a bad experience. So I already got my people who do the towing. I know like my family, they do the towing just because I never had to call them and, you know, talk about cars. But I'm going to have to soon call them to ask about it. So, uh, so I know two, two party. One party is the is the mechanic shop that they can do the tow too. If they if I wanted to, but they might not help much because they are their mechanic shop. Okay, who knows? They might and they might not. But I know another party which is like in my, like my family size, and they do all the towing. That's what they do. They got a whole junk savage yard too. That's what they do. They tow junk cars home and they take parts out and they sell parts and then they just sell the junk uh, car, like the whole metal to a scrap yard. I know, I know a party that does that too. And they're pretty good too. They know my, fa my family pretty good. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I got two options right there. I got two parties right there and see what I want to do. In worst case, worse, after I call uh, the mechanic shop that I know, and if it didn't end up good, then I'll just call my uh, savage junkyard uh, family, you know, friends to tow it, because that's what they do. 
and they they probably come to a better conclusion like they might pay me more or whatever or they might like tow both of my car and fix my other car you know who knows so we'll see what happened tomorrow and i'll update make a video update um after tomorrow and see what happened what's going on all right guys and i'm just gonna think 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 hard tonight think what i'm gonna do you know i'm just gonna plan out and think what i'm gonna do uh throughout this whole process all right guys that's it that's all the information i want to update on my 98 clips uh the gs model the sex the sucks 428 engine that everyone knows and uh, i'll see you guys on the next update in another video all right guys thanks for watching on my channel if you like my uh videos here please thumbs up and likes uh subscribe consider subscribe if you haven't and uh, please leave some appropriate comments on my videos all right and check out all my other videos i got tons of other cars videos and other types of videos too i got about 900 videos by now on youtube <laughs> All right, all right guys, so check me out on YouTube, especially on YouTube, all right? And I'll see you in the next video. It's me, Young Leo, is signing out for now. All right guys, take care and be safe. Peace out.